And a good Friday evening to you. The news at 10 begins with a change in polling locations for more than 7,000 Augusta voters. The Richmond County Board of Elections says a growth spurt is part of the reason for the change, but the question is, could this affect voter turnout? The voter registration deadline for this election is on October 5th. You can register at the Board of Elections office or online. The Georgia Department of Transportation has mentioned a possible name change for some roads in Columbia County. There has been talk that Old Evans and Old Petersburg roads might become part of the Riverwatch Parkway name once the project is finished. We spoke with Columbia County Commissioner Doug Duncan about the conversations he's had with his constituents about this change. Uh, what I've shared with them is that we hear them and that it will be debated. A decision will not be made in the dark. It will be debated and discussed and whatever's best for the county, whatever's best for the citizens uh, will happen. Duncan says people are 50-50 among those he spoke with about the change. GDOT must let residents know at least 30 days before the change happens. We have an update tonight on the plans for a new water park in North Augusta. The $22 million project, Scuttles Island, is now attracting the attention of developers and engineers. Alex Krasinski is one of those who is currently finishing up a similar project overseas. He says Discovery Channel is even interested in covering the building of Scuttles Island. We don't consider this water park a local water park. It's like more of, it can be considered a, a world icon. The park is scheduled to open Memorial Day, May 31st of next year. A local animal service and kennel is calling on Augusta voters to pass the next sales tax package. We spoke with the kennel technician at Grace Animal Services and Kennel. She tells us the area of Rocky Creek was once a beautiful stream in 2008 and now the bed of the creek is eroding. She says the bridge leading into the only entryway to the kennel has failed twice after storms. We're losing our land. It eroded, is, well, you can see it, it's eroding closer and closer to our uh, dog kennels, and now it has actually washed out some of our dog kennels. We also spoke with the assistant engineering director who says the project could cost around a half a million dollars. That money is part of $25 million allocated for stormwater and SPLOS 7, and voters will make that decision at the polls in November. United States Senator Johnny Isaacson stopped at Fort Gordon today on his tour of four Georgia military bases. With several other bases around the country forced to cut soldiers, Fort Gordon finds itself in a unique position. News Channel 6's Margaret Ann Carter has more on that story. The senator says Fort Benning will cut close to 3,500 positions, including civilians. Fort Stewart is expected to lose 950 people, but the senator seems positive that those soldiers affected will not be forgotten by their government. The South Carolina Highway Patrol wants to put more troopers on our roads because of the rising number of fatalities. The agency wants to add an extra training class next year, so it's looking for applicants. But with the recent murders of law enforcement officers in other parts of the country and hostility toward police, they're getting fewer applicants. But the fact is, is that uh, those who truly see this as a calling are going to seek a career in law enforcement just like they would uh, the military and even though they know that there's risk with both they're willing to take that risk to uh, protect and serve the communities that they live in. The patrol has stepped up its recruiting efforts including going to job fairs, colleges and universities and even military bases. It's not, they are now accepting applications from out of state. Coming up on the CW Augusta, the end of summer season is near. We have a look at the forecast this holiday weekend and why travelers will be saving some money. And it looks like an abandoned park, but it's not. In fact, Spiderweb Park is very much open. So what has everyone scared to visit? Out there somewhere is straight ahead.